I sure wish people could watch YouTube from a Facebook page. If they could, I could just call it Facetube. Hey YouTubers, how y'all doing out there? Thanks for tuning into this video. My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with another tip for the tube. Today I'm going to show you how to add a YouTube button to your Facebook page. So let's jump off into Facebook and make it happen. Alright YouTubers, here we are on Facebook. Alright, and I'm going to show you guys how to add a YouTube button to your Facebook page. So, the first way is to utilize Facebook itself and a feature that they have called add a button. So you see here you have a add a button button and if you click on this it allows you to pick a type of button that will appear on your website on an iPhone display when individuals are using the Facebook app and on an Android display when individuals are using the Facebook app. So you choose which button you want and I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to select watch a video. When I select watch a video I can then choose the link to the video or the link to the page or website that I want to display. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my YouTube channel URL. So this is my YouTube channel URL. You got to make sure it has the HTTP in here, just like it does in the example. And then you click on create. Now you can choose whether or not you want to promote it. I'm going to choose not now. And now you see instead of add a button, it says watch video. When a visitor clicks on this, it'll open up a new tab on their uh, web browser to the site that you linked it to. So I'm going to click on test button because I'm the owner of this, so I just can't click on the button. I have some options here to either edit the button uh, view any insights like how many people are clicking on it, promote it to get more people to click on it, or I can delete the button altogether. So I'm going to click on test button. Now, this is pretty cool, but it kind of takes people off page, right? It takes them off site, it opens up a new window. It keeps the Facebook window open per se, but they're not still engaged in doing things on it. So there's another option that I have to add a YouTube button and that is with an app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in YouTube tab and I'm going to click on the YouTube tab app page search. If I'm here I'm going to click on apps. Now, there are several different apps you can choose from on this page. I happen to like the first one that's on here, YouTube tab. So I'm going to click on that. And it brings me to this page where I can install the app. So I'm going to click on install application. And now it's going to ask me where do I want to put it on Facebook pages? Yes. And I'm going to pick the page that I want to put it on, which is Power Director University. And I'm going to click on Add Page tab. Now it brings me back to Power Director University. And it has all the application settings here. So First thing it asks me is, okay, so what's my YouTube channel ID or playlist ID? 
If you don't know what it is, you can click on this and it'll go ahead and give you an example of what that user ID is for your channel. So I'm gonna go to So now that I'm on my YouTube channel, I need to go over to my icon. I need to click on YouTube settings. And then I need to click on advanced. On this page, I will have my YouTube user ID and my YouTube channel ID. And I'm gonna take my channel ID I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it into this field. If I wanted to do a featured video, I would place it here. If I wanted to do a header image, I could place it here if I have the URL to that. So there's a whole lot of different things that I can do. So now that I have my URL placed in here, I need to authorize my channel. So I click on that. I'm going to select the account. And I'm going to click on allow. And then I'm going to click on Save Settings. And now we are all set up. We have our YouTube tab over here on the left hand side. So if I click on Home, it'll take me back to my regular Facebook page. But then I can click on YouTube over here on the left. And now I can stay on site and people can see my current video and then the last uh, 25 videos that were created on my YouTube page. So that's how you add a YouTube button in two places on Facebook. Thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video, don't forget, click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. If you need help with something, you got questions, you just want to talk to your boy, or you got a tutorial request, leave those in the comment section below. Now, the most important thing, if you don't want to miss out on all of this YouTube love and all of this YouTube goodness that I'm bringing to you, you got to smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you get notifications whenever I upload content, and then you won't be missing out on any of the YouTube training and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.